everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another Minecraft video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, in this video, I want to show you some uh, important settings that you want to make if you have an NVIDIA GPU, all right? And we're gonna make some settings in the NVIDIA control panel for Minecraft, all right? Uh, now, let me point out a couple things. So we're gonna deal with the manage 3D settings here, all right? so. You basically right click on your desktop and choose the NVIDIA control panel to open it. Um, and this is again, if you have a NVIDIA GPU. Um, and there's two tabs here in the Manage 3D settings. There's a global settings and there's a program settings, all right? Uh, and it's become a trend in Minecraft launchers that they're embedding their own versions of Java inside of the launcher. And so, if you have your global settings like you like them for the game uh you know for playing minecraft then you you don't have to follow these additional steps however i play on a tv and i play at a distance of about 10 feet or so so i like to make some different settings than i make for minecraft so for instance one is image sharpening i like to sharpen the image uh, for the screen here i sharpen it just a little bit and then have the GPU scaling and stuff set for that. It just looks better overall because again, your GPU settings affect your normal computer display. So like when I'm browsing web pages, reading this text and all this kind of stuff, it looks a lot better for me uh, in this setting, all right? That's one example. Another one is for power management mode, all right? So uh, in, in playing the games in Minecraft, I would want to prefer maximum performance to get the best settings uh, for Minecraft for the GPU. But in day-to-day -day usage, I want it set to normal so the GPU will scale down its its values and stuff when it's not being used very much, all right? Uh, now, you can hover over any one of these and read about what the settings do at the bottom of the window down there. It'll give you tool tips, so you know, you'll wanna go through and read about that. Another one that's uh, you can make different is the texture filtering quality, all right? So I have it set to quality, and then in the game, maybe you would wanna set it to high performance. Now I just keep it on quality, uh, but I may do some future videos about looking at these various settings and see if they affect FPS and how the, you know, affect the image display and stuff like that. But this one is kind of a macro setting. It tells you at the bottom here that it adjusts the parameters of a number of these other ones in here, okay? Now, Minecraft can't use all of these settings and it'll tell you in that, all right. So going back to what we were talking about, that if you want different settings from your global, then you're going to need to select the Java instance that's being used by Minecraft, all right? By whatever Minecraft launcher, you'll want and you can configure multiple ones and i'll show you how to do that all right uh, so uh, let's first look at the mojang launcher because when you're selecting a program you're choosing add and then it's going to show you a recent list of of programs that you've been using all right so uh, if i go a to z you could see i have quite a number of java on the system here all right and each one is at a different thing this is the one for the launcher in program files runtime this is the one for curse forge uh, the tooltip will tell you unfortunately it doesn't stay on long but uh, this is the java path so this is the system one all right when it says java path common files oracle java java path that's the system one uh there's another instance of it maybe i have different versions of it uh that was for a, a house design app uh, Mojang recommended is for reshade. See, I have a bunch of different ones. All right. So it's easier to do it from the recently used list. All right. Now, one of the issues, though, is that for some reason, the main launcher doesn't show in there. Like, it's it, like, let me show you with Curse Forge first, just because it does list that. All right. So if I go to Curse Forge, and I launch a mod pack, all right? Now keep in mind that you're not caring about this launcher here. It's not the launcher that you're gonna add for the program. You need to add the Java process, all right? The, the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment that's being used, all right? So if I, if I launch this mod pack, then I'm launching that Java 
process. Okay, so now the mod pack's launched. So now I can go into the NVIDIA control panel and choose add, and it's gonna show me that one on the top of the list there. All right, so uh, it's gonna tell me where it is, the path and all that. Then when I choose to add the selected program here, then it's going to add that to the list here, and then I can configure it. All right, so there it is listed right there, uh, the one at the top. You can see I have a few that are configured already. So this one is the JRE Legacy. It's it's in the CurseForge directory, all runtime, CurseForge. You can see where it's at. This is the one. Uh, there's actually a couple for CurseForge, which is kind of weird. Uh, I think they're changing over to something, uh, but uh, let me just show you. If you go out into the folder real quick and you look in Documents, CurseForge, not GD Launcher, CurseForge, uh, Minecraft Install, you'll see that in the Libraries folder, or not Libraries, sorry, in Runtime folder, there's a JRE Legacy and a JRE uh, X64. Now, this was just added in like one of the last updates this jre legacy so i don't know if they're planning on switching over or something but it kept this one on there too so you have to go through and configure it for both of those uh, i think the launcher is just mainly using the legacy one now but again you can see i have that configured i have sharpening off i have uh the prefer maximum performance for the power management mode and then as I said, right now I just have um, extra quality wherever that's at. Uh, extra quality, right here. Texture filtering quality, use global setting quality. You may want to set that to high performance uh, depending on what you want to do. Okay, so uh, let's look at the launcher. Like I said, this one, these other launchers make it kind of easy. Uh, like if I did a multi-MC, launched it, a multi MC, you can choose the Java that you want to use uh, under settings at a global level. Under Java, you can set it. That's the system path. When you first set up multi MC, it's going to ask you for a Java and it'll set that. Or you could set it for the mod pack itself. Uh, now, of course, I need to have the mod pack closed. But let me just show you that uh, on the list, it'll come to the top. That's the one that's being used program files, x86, common files, Oracle. Uh, and then again, like I said, when it says Java path inside of there, that's a uh, a uh, symbolic link that points to uh, the Java install. So when Java updates, like if you get an update notice for Java, then it'll be sure to keep a link to that. You know, it won't matter the actual version of Java that's being used, the system Java. All right. So uh, it does select it for that. And then again, I have that configured specifically for that system Java, uh, but you'd want to choose add like I just did and, and see that, okay? Now let's look at the main launcher because for some reason it doesn't show it in the list in the same way, All right? So if I launch here, I choose play, this is a snapshot. Uh, it has its own embedded Java, uh, as I mentioned that it's become a trend in launchers to do that to make it easier really for you to just get up and running but you do have to make these settings all right i have that uh, minecraft launched if i go back to the nvidia control panel i choose add it doesn't really show it on the list it shows it on the list but it doesn't like sort it to the top okay this minecraft launcher is not what you want this is the exe for this all right now, you know, you don't really need to make any different settings for that than you would for your regular computer. So you need to sort for that for some reason. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't pick that one up, but you need to sort on the list and find it. All right, so it is, uh, it's in the Mojang directory. Let's go, keep going down. All right, Minecraft launcher runtime. It's this one right here. C program files, x86, Minecraft launcher, runtime, JRE, blah, 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 blah. So it's talking about this folder. Oh, let's go to C, program files, x86, uh, Minecraft launcher, that guy, Minecraft launcher right here, uh, runtime. Okay, and I guess this is 
not from CurseForge that's doing that. Oh, I see what's going on. So Mojang's getting ready to switch over to 1.17, uh, where they're going to use Java 11. All right, so this is Mojang that's doing this JRE Legacy and JRE 64. All right, that makes sense. So they're going to do Java 11 in, in 1.17. All right, but you need to find that file, guy, guys, um, to uh, know which one it is. So it's always a good idea to know where stuff is on your system, but x86 minecraft launcher runtime jre and there's a, a couple of them now so you you need to go through and configure each one uh for what you want all right because i'm assuming this x86 folder i wonder if this is java 11 yet they, they're switching over to that i can i can see what's going on now with that uh, no this is still eight all right, but they're going to because 117 is going to be Java 11. Hey guys, I want to add a quick supplement to this video uh, about 117 in particular because uh, it I just figured out something about it because it was weird to me that when I chose add, it didn't show me uh, that Java at the top. Uh, and it turns out it's because of it's using this net.minecraft client name, I think. But there's also these lists, get graphics off. I, that's OBS Studio stuff. So it's net.minecraft client main. Now let me just quickly like show you uh, like what's going on here. All right, so basically if I, I just go in full screen on this, all right, this is, has the sharpening applied to it, all right? And it, it looks like trash, uh, the sharpening from NVIDIA for Minecraft uh it, it just doesn't look very good i get all this noise and stuff on it it just doesn't look very good all right so that's why i configure it separately all right so now you do need to apparently for 1.17 add this net.client.name or main all right so when that's selected again i can do the same thing uh, image sharpening turn it off uh, this is just me uh then I'll set the uh, power management mode to prefer uh, just what we've gone over before. Uh, every I don't want that for sure. All right, vertical sync. Uh, actually, use the 3D application setting is what you want. Apply on that, and uh, it should work. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at it and see if sharpening is off. Can already tell because the pixelated values and stuff like that god I hate auto jump so bad uh yeah so it's off now let me be sure yeah yeah so it's off now so it's applying that to that net dot main all right so let me show you that in the list again just so you could see basically it did sort to the top but I expected it to do Java because the older versions will do that. I'm assuming any 116 or whatever will still do that. But 117 looks like it's going to do this. I don't know if that's just part of the snapshot or whatever. We'll just have to see. So I programmed that one separately to have those settings. And then my other ones have those settings too. Anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to make that quick uh, update about that because I figured it out in between. But anyway, guys, I want to keep that kind of short and simple. Uh, it's something that people may overlook if they're making different settings. So it's the global settings that really uh, most people are using overall. And you can get better performance from it uh, if you want it different from your program settings. But you need to pay some detail attention to what is being configured now once i've configured each one of these you can see it's on the list and it's got separate settings all right now there is the possibility to make your own types of profiles for this and i'll look at that in some future videos anyway i want to keep it short uh, this is scott omato hope you uh, picked up something from that guys if so please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel and have a great day we'll see you in the next one bye bye